Hi everyone, my name is Jolian Thomas and I'm an assistant professor of religious studies at the University of Pennsylvania. I'm making this short video to offer a bit of a background story about my forthcoming book, Faking Liberties, Religious Freedom in American Occupied Japan. So right before I first moved to Japan uh, in January of 2002 uh, was one of the landmark uh, events of, of my lifetime which was um, September 11th uh, and the uh, coordinated attacks on multiple buildings in the United States. So uh, September 11th happened, I moved to Japan three months later, which meant that one of the things that um, happened as the United States went to war in, in response was that all of my um, experience of, of um, the post 9-11 moment was sort of filtered through the uh, fact that I was living abroad um, and, and therefore seeing America from outside. One of the things that I noticed in all of that was a, um, a, a parallel between the rhetoric of the Bush administration about um, spreading freedom to benighted theocrats living abroad um, and the rhetoric of the Allied occupation of Japan, which was, of course, about spreading freedom to benighted theocrats abroad. So I found myself um, comparing the politics of these two moments, not in, a, in an irresponsible, ahistorical, you know, presentist sort of way, but just trying to think through, like, what does it mean to describe um, a political project of military occupation as, um, as freeing somebody? How, you know, like, what does it mean to free somebody um, when uh, that freedom comes uh, so obviously under circumstances of, of coercion. Uh, so what Faking Liberties does is it takes those um, early questions and uh, pursues them. I focus on religious freedom um, because I think that religious freedom is a moment or a site where people make religion in order to free it. Um, and I focus on competing discourses of religious freedom, both during the occupation uh, when it turns out the occupiers um, wildly disagreed with one another about what religious freedom was. Um, and then before the occupation, when it turns out Japanese people um, vehemently disagreed with one another about what religious freedom was and how to protect it. So by juxtaposing the occupation regime with the pre-war, what I call the Meiji constitutional regime, I, I try to show the inconsistencies um, and the ironies that are intrinsic to the project of freeing religion. Um, so uh, if you're interested in the book, you can find it on the University of Chicago Press website, uh, and it will be out in April 2019. I hope that you'll read it.